Yo, 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 what is going on, everyone? Thank you again for tuning in. As always, much appreciated. Hopefully, everyone is doing all right and had a great Christmas. Hopefully, all was well and amazing. In this episode, we are going to finish the shared enclosure for the proboscis monkey and the Malayan top here inside the Japanese village. In the previous couple of episodes, we got the layout going. The climbing frame is installed and ready to go. And in this episode, we're going to be finishing the whole enclosure and the surrounding area as well. Unfortunately, I do not have any gameplay from the foliage aspect of things. I'm not quite sure where the gameplay went. It kind of just disappeared. I may have accidentally deleted all the footage from uh, yeah, all the foliage gameplay. And uh, yeah, therefore, I'm not able to show any of that. But at the end of the video itself, I made like very small cinematic video. So I'll still be able to show you all how the final build is looking. So once again, I do apologize for not adding the foliage gameplay in this video. But what will be shown in this video is the construction and also the finish of the shelter for the proboscis monkey and malayan tapir it will most likely more be used by the tapir only because we have a couple of sleeping areas outside as well and i do think that the proboscis monkey will use that way more than uh, yeah the tapir because it is a climbing uh yes shelter so to speak so it's not that the tapirs are able to reach those sections so it's more for the proboscis monkeys so the shelter is just more for the malayan tapir it's very simple it's nothing like too crazy just had to make sure that the shelter was in place so that the uh, yeah like satisfaction level of the top here at least uh, was like way higher than if we would not build any shelter for them and this was also the only real spot and place where we were able to place a shelter because the overall build and the overall look style of this enclosure it's like a a fish ball type of enclosure so we have like walls all around it and therefore there's not really any section for us to um yeah like place a shelter in so this was the only place for us to actually build one all in all whenever it's all finished it did came out quite nice like i do enjoy like the uh, the placement of it and just the overall look as well and yeah like whenever it's finished it, it just sort of feels a part and um yeah like a part of the enclosure itself so it came out very nice also with the foliage, once again, that's not shown in this video. It just created like a finished look. Also because we used the same foliage items from the previous episodes in terms of the door enclosure, the bin's wrong enclosure, but also the open spots in the village before. Like all those items are pretty much similar. So uh, more to get a similar look in the overall thing. Because uh, yeah, the village itself, I will show a quick picture of the uh, inspirational photo or the illustration that is uh, that we used to create this village as a whole so that's the castle all the buildings the walls everything uh, the overall layout is yeah like as close as possible as i could have made it in uh, yeah in general if that makes sense hopefully it does <laughs> but um yeah like overall it took a very long time to uh, yeah create the village as a whole but at the end of the day with the space and also the mechanics that the uh yeah planet 2 has because at the end of the day it is a video game so we're not able to create it 100 percent similar but the end result is precisely the way that we were envisioning it from the start so all in all a very nice and cool project to create in general also i will try to create a blueprint from the whole thing there will be a ton of pieces so i'm not entirely sure if it's going to be working whatever the uh, yeah, blueprint is created. I will try it out because whenever we place a blueprint in this zoo, where we uh, yeah, like build in and also create the videos from, uh, there's already like a lot of stuff going. So that is most likely the reason why it's a little laggy whenever I personally place uh, another blueprint in uh, from the village itself. Because whenever we created the village we built it in a empty zoo so it was way easier it was way smoother just the overall yeah like feel and uh, the performance was just way bigger unfortunately planet 2 it's not super yeah like fine-tuned on the department and i don't mean that as like a bad thing it's just whenever you create stuff in a zoo and you keep on adding uh, enclosures buildings everything 
there and the guest amount sort of rises because you have more animals in your zoo the frame rate just starts to drop like slowly but surely and at some point you just reach like a level where it's just like not playable anymore like it's not fun and yeah like fortunately for me i was able to purchase a couple of items for my pc that i used to play the video game um that allows me to like use it a bit more as in we were able to build more stuff in here but whenever we unpause the game it's just not fine-tuned anymore like it's just it's not smooth to play if we reach like 20 or so fps we can be happy especially whatever like an area where a lot of guests are sort of uh, walking and using it's just not it's just not smooth long story short but all in all, I will try to create one of those blueprints. So, uh, yeah, I'm able to place it on the workshop itself. If everyone is uh, interested in using it for uh, your own zoo, but also on uh, how everything was created, if you haven't followed uh, from the beginning, I will leave links in the description of this video. So you're able to tune in in key moments of this project. So that will be the start of the first uh, building and also the wall. Uh, first enclosures as in the dolls the binge rungs but also this one and yeah like all those links will be placed in the description below also a link for the twitch channel because all the builds you see in youtube videos have been created live over on twitch first we stream pretty much every weekend and also every now and then during the week itself whenever i'm off work I have like a complete schedule in the Discord channel where also we'll place a link in this description for. And uh, yeah, hopefully I will see you all in a future live streams and maybe even in the Discord channel as well. For now though, hopefully every single one of you will enjoy the video. Once again, thank you very much for tuning in into this one and also for the previous videos as well. In the next video, we'll be starting on the next enclosure. will be for the Clouded Leopard, also part of the Southeast Asia DLC and just to add in the, uh, yeah, the project itself for the Japanese village. It will be placed on the outside though. So it's, it's more on the outside as uh, the enclosure that we're building right now and also finishing right now. So it's kind of part of the village but also not anymore it's like sort of half half 50 50 whenever the video starts we'll be able to like show real quick where it's like situated and uh, yeah also what the plan is for the future etc but for now enjoy the video once again thank you very much for tuning in we'll see you all later stay safe have a good one bye bye